let me move on to data interpretation that is sum number 10 so friends according to me i can say one thing this is one of the best data interpretation question for all the reason competitive exams so friends let me move on to the da question so friends here they have given a table chart right and the first column that is the college a to f and the second column is the total number of students appeared and the third column is pass percentage and the fourth column is the students who are appeared given in a ratio that is boys and girls and the fourth column is the number of girls passed so friends listen here there are totally five column first column is the colleges that is a to f and the second column in each college the total students appeared in the third column the pass percentage and the fourth column where ratio given that is for boys and girls most important thing that is for appeared students and the fourth column is number of girls passed so friends let me move on to the various question based on this chart so question number one what is the total number of girls failed in college a and college e together so friends our target to find the total number of see here friends total number of girls who failed not passed right who failed in college a and college e together so friends if i take college a we know that how many students are there and how many students are appeared ratio and how many students passed and how many girls passed but our target to find the number of girls failed in college a so friends listen carefully listen the concept carefully friends i am not at all going to teach you the shortcut i am just going to teach you the normal traditional method to solve this question why because this normal traditional method will definitely help you for all the complex questions so friends first of all let me take college a listen here friends college a the total number of students that is total students are 7210 out of this total students friends listen here out of this total students where boys and girls are in a ratio that is 3 is to 2 so i can say that the girls are in a ratio 2 and the total ratio that is 5 so we can cancel this 1 5 is a 5 reminder will be 2 5 4 is a 20 reminder 2 5 4 is a 20 reminder 1 so 5 2 is a 10 so 1 4 4 2 into 2 that is 4 8 8 2 so friends what is this 2884 in college a the girls who appeared is 2884 we can say that this will be total girls that is appeared so friends total girls appeared will be 2884 but our target to find the girls who are failed friends this is total girls appeared and we know that in the last column 1 2 6 8 is the total girls who passed so friends this is the total number of girls who appeared and this is the total number of girls who passed if i subtract both the values then i can surely get in college a how many girls are failed so we need to subtract this right so 2884 1268 the resultant will be 1616 so finally i got 1616 will be the total number of girls who failed in college a so let me move on to college number E friends. Similarly, college E where the total students are 7200. So out of this 7200, girls and boys are in a boys and girls are in ratio 7, 11 is to 7. So I can say that girls are 7 part and the total part that is 18. So I think 18 into 4 will be 7 to 72. So 400 into 7 will be 2800. Friends, this 2800 is the total girls appeared. We know that in college E, the total girls passed will be 1224. So 1224 is the total number of girls who passed. And this is the total number of girls who appeared. So if I subtract this, the resultant will be total number of girls who failed in college E. So we need to subtract this, right? So 2800 and 1224. The resultant will be 1576. So 1576 will be the total girls who are failed in college e but our target to find what is the total number of girls failed that means we need to add both the values so 6 plus 6 will be 12 the remainder will be 1 so 7 8 remainder will be 1 that is 9 so 5 plus 6 will be 11 so remainder will be 1 1 1 1 will be 3 so finally we got 3192 is the total number of girls who failed in college a and college e together so friends i hope that you can understand this concept clearly first of all from the total students i have found that how many girls are there 
so after finding the total number of girls who are appeared and we know that the last column is total number of girls passed so from the total number of girls appeared i have subtracted the total number of girls who passed so that the resultant will be total number of girls who failed so finally we got the answer that is 3192 for question number one question number two what is the total number of boys failed in college b so friends our target to find what is the total number of boys that is failed in college b friends friends my advice this is one of the most important question very most important question the concept the solving procedure is most most important friends so friends our target to find the boys who are failed in college b so friends first of all just follow step by step procedure right so first of all in college b where we can find the total students are 4800 who are appeared out of this 4800 so we know that 66 percentage of students are passed so i can say that 66 students that is 66 percentage of students who are passed out of this 4800 so i can say that we can cancel 0 and 0 so 66 into 48 will be 3168 so i can say that 3 one six eight so friends three thousand hundred and sixty eight friends listen carefully it is total students passed so friends got the logic total students passed will be three thousand hundred and sixty eight friends our target to find the total number of boys who are failed so friends first of all in college b 4800 just see how many boys are appear for the exam so total 4800 where the total number of boys who are appeared so boys and girls are in a ratio 9 is to 7 so 9 divided by 16 so i think we can cancel this on three times that is 300 so 9 into 3 will be 27 so 2700 friends 2700 is the total boys appeared so total boys who are appeared will be 2700 and the total students who are passed will be 3168 so friends listen here and we know that in college b the total number of girls who are passed will be 1146 girls passed now we need to use a simple logic friends listen here a simple logic total number of students are 3168 so inside this 3168 we have a boys and also we have a girls passed but here we know that the total number of girls who are passed will be 1146 if i subtract both the values then the resultant will be the total boys who are passed friends got the logic inside this past students we have boys and also we have a girls we know that how many girls are passed so from the total past students i'm just going to subtract the girls passed alone the resultant will be boys passed so friends eight six will be two and the six four will be two and the one one will be zero so three one subtract will be two so finally if i subtract this so we got 2022 students that is only boys passed so friends got the logic friends only boys passed will be 2022 we know that the total boys who are appeared is 2700 so when we subtract both the values the resultant will be the total number of boys who are failed so we need to subtract this the resultant will be 678 so i can say that 678 is the total number of boys who are failed in college b i hope that you can able to understand this concept clearly friends the concept is most most important got the logic friends first of all college b total number of students passed will be 3168 so inside this total students we have both boys and girls passed we know that in college b the total number of girls passed will be 1146 if i subtract the total students passed minus girls passed the resultant will be boys passed and we know that the total number of boys who are appeared for the exam will be 2700 so total number of boys appear total number of boys passed if i subtract both the values 678 will be the total number of boys who are failed so friends finally we got 678 is the answer for question number two question number three find the total number of boys failed in college a college c and college e 
so friends our target to find the total number of boys who are failed in three colleges that is college a college c and college e it is similar to the previous question but we should be little bit faster while solving these types of question friends so friends my target is our target to find the boys failed right this is our target what i'm going to do first of all total boys appeared so my methodology total boys appeared so minus total boys passed so friends got the logic our target to find the boys fail so my advice is total number of boys who are appeared minus total number of boys who are passed the resultant will be total number of boys who are failed first of all let me calculate the total number of boys who are appeared in college a college c and college e so friends college a will be 7210 so out of this the boys who are appeared in the ratio that is 3 the total ratio 5 and college c so college c will be 5670 and in college c the boys are in a ratio 5 divided by total ratio 9 and college e so college e the total students are 7200 and the boys who are appeared will be 11 divided by the total ratio that is 18 so we need to cancel all the values right so we can cancel this 18 18 4 times that is 400 so resultant will be 4400 okay second i think we can cancel this on 9 6 are 54 the remainder will be 2 9 3 is a, okay 630 into 9 will be 5670 so we need to multiply this 0 5 3 is a 15 remainder will be 1 6 5 is a 30 30 plus 1 will be 31 that is 3150 so friends here we can say that 1 4 4 2 the resultant will be 3 2s are 6 up then 3 2s are 6 then 4 3s are 12 remainder will be 1 so 4 3s are 12 plus 1 will be 13 remainder will be 1 that is 4 so 4326 so friends 4326 is the total number of students who are appeared in college a and 3150 college c and 4400 will be college e so we need to add all the values right so this is this will be 6 then 5 plus 2 will be 7 so 4 then 5 then 8 so this will be 8 so 4 7 then 11 so i can say that 11876 is the total number of boys who are appeared in all the three colleges so our first target completed total number of boys who are appeared in all the three colleges that is 11876 so our next target to find the total number of boys passed so friends listen here friends the most another most important concept right so friends out of this 7210 the total number of students who are passed will be 60 percent that is 60 by 100 so minus the total girls who are passed will be 1268 so 1268 the resultant will be the total number of boys who are passed friends got the logic like a previous case but we need to solve this question faster right you should not do step by step procedure and the college c so college c will be 5670 out of this 5670 the total students passed will be 70 percentage that is 70 by 100 minus of in college c we know that the total girls who are passed will be 1432 and the third step so college e friends college e the total number of students are thousand that is 7200 out of this 57 percentage of students are passed so out of this 57 percentage where the total girls passed in college e will be 1224 so friends finally we need to cancel all the values then we need to find the answer right okay no problem we can cancel 0 0 similarly 2 0 so 6 into 1 will be 6 then 6 into 2 will be 12 remainder will be 1 6 7 is a 42 42 plus 1 will be 43 so 4 3 2 6 minus 1 2 6 8 this will be the first step and second we can cancel 2 0 2 0 so 7 7 is a 49 the remainder will be 4 6 7 is a 42 42 plus 4 will be 46 the remainder will be 4 7 5 is a 35 35 plus 4 will be 39 so 3 9 6 9 minus 1 4 3 2 and the second step we can cancel 0 and 0 so we need to multiply this 72 into 57 so 72 into 57 4 1 0 4 minus 1 2 2 4 so we need to subtract all the values so friends 6 18 that is 8 then i think 1 so 11 6 will be 5 okay 
then 3 2 that is 0 so 4 3 so finally we can say that this will be 3 0 5 8 and this. so friends second term will be 3 we need to subtract this 9 2 7 then 6 3 will be 3 so 9 4 will be 5 so this will be 2 5 3 7 third term so 4 into 4 0 so 0 2 that is 10 8 then here will be 0 so 10 8 again 8 so here will be 3 so 2 8 8 0 so friends finally we got the total number of boys who are passed so 3058 plus 2537 then 2880 so we need to add all the values right okay let me do it 7 8 so this will be 15 the remainder will be 1 so 8 this will be 11 this will be 16 16 plus 1 will be 17 remainder will be 1 so 8 13 14 so 14 okay the remainder will be 1 so this will be 2 4 this will be 7 7 plus will be 8 so 8475 is the total number of boys friends listen carefully this is the total number of boys who passed and this is the total number of boys who appeared but our target to find what is the total number of failed so we need to subtract both the values if i subtract both the values then finally the resultant will be 3401 so finally we can say that the answer will be 3401 so friends finally we got the answer that is 3401 so friends don't think that this is a long procedure right just practice a lot so that you can solve the question faster so friends finally we have solved three different questions that is three most important questions and don't forget to solve the fourth question and fifth question on your own so friends i hope that you have really learned a new thing from this video if you really like it subscribe my channel and go to my channel and watch all the remaining da question Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.